Hi guys, this is Raymond from Briggs Laboratory and this is progress number 3 of our custom LEGO City Fire Station. I plan to make a lot of changes for this fire station uh, based on the tips and advice of JC from Small Brick City. He has given us several insights on how to improve this fire station and I am going to implement them. First, I replaced this brick built stairs with a ladder that goes from the ground floor and up to the second floor and up to the rooftop of this structure. I also moved the fire pole from the garage to this dispatcher's area so that I will only have to make or create one hole from the second floor from the floor of the second story and because of that I plan to remove these doors so that fireman who slides down to this fire pole will have easy access to get to the fire truck so I'm going to remove this doors so I also emptied the whole dispatching area because I think that it will have a new layout once these doors are removed and this ladder and fire pole are fixed into place so I will figure it out what kind of layout do we have? For this second floor um, sleeping quarters, I think I will have to also change this and uh, instead of making this uh, a separate room. Perhaps I will make the second floor one whole room which includes the quarters here, sleeping quarters, the break room and the kitchen and here's the fire pole and the ladder or the access to the second and second floor and rooftop. So that's uh, what I'm thinking of right now. And I know it's a lot of work but uh, I also know that it will be worth it and I trust JC's advice regarding uh, these matters. I will also um, improve the texture of the windows to this side and I'll also try to improve the front. So. This is going to be a, uh, en an enjoyable build, I know, I will enjoy this. So, see you guys later. So, here it is guys. Uh, this is the, I think the best that I could do for now. And I hope uh, you all like it. I already finished the second floor of our fire station, of our custom fire station. It's Remark. And uh, I'm quite happy about the result. As I've said, I, uh, I used or I followed the advice of JC from Small Brick City in uh, constructing this uh, custom fire station. And I used it 
I used his insights or I follow these insights, his, his suggestions to make this second floor. It is uh, detailed inside and uh, before I show you the inside of the second floor, let me show you the, the outside or the countenance. It's countenance. So. Let's do it. I have retained the large windows in the right side with the with some texture. As for the win the large window on this side, uh, I did not. I decided to just put them the way they are and not use the snot technique to make it sideways. Um, because uh, number one, it's much simpler and much easier to do, and uh, number two, I think uh, it's, it looks fine. This way, it looks fine. So I just uh, placed small windows, glass windows, and replaced the before. They are all large windows like this, but I replaced the two here with. Three, three smaller windows connected so I think it looks much better I made the second floor as a whole room or one whole build before uh, I only made a small building here a small room for the sleeping quarters of the firemen but I decided to make it uh, one whole build so it will be stronger or tougher yeah, I placed these windows outside I intentionally protruded them to create texture and also placed awnings on each window and uh, then covered the top with 1x4 tiles to make it uh, look more streamlined these are also windows so you can see the inside and for the left side the same window protrusion with awning and uh, tiles on top so that's what I did for the outside of the second floor for the back, it's a straightforward wall because this will be butted up against a real wall. So that's what I did. As for the interior of the second floor, if you will remember, initially I placed the sleeping quarters of the firemen here on the right side so that the dispatcher's area is down the bottom but uh, JC suggested that I should just remove the stairs and place a ladder instead so that's what I did and also put the fire pole on this side so that only one hole will be created and I can maximize the space of the second floor so that's what I did. I moved or transferred the sleeping quarters here on the left side because it, I think it's awkward if the fire pole and the, the, the ladder, that uh, the access ladder from the ground floor will be inside the bedroom or the sleeping quarters. So it's much better this way that uh, the ladder and the fire pole is in a common area or common room so the slim quarters was moved to the left I think this is a much better uh, position for the bedroom and I also made a small toilet here in the middle of the second floor you can see it's hard to see inside dark but there's the toilet bowl with a cover and the toilet paper the flush at the right 
so that's it for the toilet as you can as you may notice the our kitchen I modified its configuration to adapt to the new layout or to adapt to the layout of the second floor before this uh, this side is on the other side and the drawers are on the left side so I just switched it so that means it will uh, fit the layout it's just the same just switch the other way around I also placed the fireman's vault on the second floor before it's in the ground floor but I place it here because I think it would be more secure if uh, it is on the second floor then on this side on this corridor I place the small kitchen and or dining set two chairs and a table I'm sorry it's not a kitchen it's a dining set and put this uh, cornflakes cornflakes break here for decoration uh, I really like the this uh, corridor with two doors I think uh, it's a great use of space so thank you to again to JC from Small Big City for suggesting these things and I'm so happy to have this uh, by the way the the ladder doesn't only cater to the second floor it is railing but it also goes up to the roof the rooftop so it's a uh, a great access from the ground floor to the rooftop I placed this uh, jumper plate and another modified uh, tile here to secure the ladder in place so let's go to the bedroom so here in the bedroom before I only have uh, one bunk bed, but now I have two bunk beds which accommodates four firemen. So that's an improvement again because of the the layout. I don't have a hole anymore that restricts my options. Now it's everything, all the area can be used. The cabinets or drawers before they are on top of each other now I place them individually on the floor and what's best about this uh, bedroom or this sleeping quarters is, is it does have access to the rooftop so what I'm planning for the rooftop is the helipad will be here and the the antenna and other and the HVAC system for the this building will be here so it's best to have two access points for the third floor or the rooftop area so this is it I also placed a clock here so the fireman will know what time is it as for this door if you can see it's not a fully covered because this is the only door I have right now that is not transparent but as soon as I have a door piece that is fully covered I will replace this door to the comfort room so a good thing there's uh, nobody using the comfort room as of now <laughs> so this, this is it I also place this uh, tile 4x4 tile to connect the fire pole and the secure connection so I'm, again I'm very happy about uh, how it turned out for this custom fire station also uh, one other thing one other thing I almost forgot for the ground floor 
for the ground floor of the fire station. I don't know how I can. So there, before, if you will remember, there's a wall. There's a wall there. And now I completely removed the wall and the two doors so that uh, the dispatcher's area and the garage is one whole space. Why? Because I think that uh, as I want to have, uh, I want to give the fireman a an easier or a faster access to the garage when they go down the fire pole. They need to have an easier time going to the fire truck and uh, doors. The door should not restrict them or the wall and the door should not restrict them so that's what I thought about it that's why it's now one whole room downstairs I think it's much better although I I kept the front door here for obvious reasons for security reasons and I placed the fire hydrant here in the middle so that's it guys uh, let me know what you think about the, this progress I'll move on to build the rooftop of this uh, whole custom fire station and I uh, I hope that uh, it looks much better than uh, our previous fire station so that's it guys Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed uh, this progress number 3 of our custom LEGO Fire Station. Please uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos and then uh, hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything that uh, we upload. So that's it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hi, hi guys. Hi. Say welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Brooklyn. Welcome. Bye. 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 Bye.